it's Maria here. All right, so today I want to talk about injuries and rest days. All right, so look, you know, if you have an injury, I get it. You don't want to work out. Hey, either do I. You know, you're like, F it all. I can't do what I want to do, so I just don't want to do it. It's normal. That's a common mentality. But this is the thing. You know, say you have a shoulder injury like me. It falls out like uh, I'm like Mel Gibson and Lisa Weapon. Thing just pops out. I'm fine, don't worry, no, I'm not getting surgery. So when, it, when it's a problem, am I pissed off I can't do everything? Yes, I'm pissed off, I hate it. But I try to tell myself exactly what I'm telling you. It's like, you know what? Go do what you can do. Do your leg work, do your core, do stuff that you, that you do anyway, but you do more of it. So whatever injury you're, you have, as you get older, they start coming. Um, you can do other stuff, you know, work around it. Try to get over that fact that you can't do everything exactly the way you like to and get out there and do what you damn can, right? So that's the, the I think the biggest challenge with an injury is up here. So um, if you don't have an injury, but this is the deal, you have to rest, you can't be all crazy. Because the reason I hurt my shoulder originally was why? Because I was working out seven days a week like a psychopath. I would teach classes, I would work out on my own, I would work out for like two hours a day, I would do like really crazy jump squats, like crazy exercises, and yes, I am a personal trainer and a teacher, so I would do more than the normal person, right? But this can apply to you if you're an over-exerciser, you do too much. I did too much. I, I, my shoulder fell out of socket because I threw myself on the floor when I'm working out. That's, that's why I fell out originally. I was a crazy person. I'm like, yeah, bear crawls. And I threw myself on the floor. So, you know, look, whatever reason, I'm sure not everybody does that, but whatever injury you have, or if you don't have one, you gotta slow down. You got to take your time. You got to do self-care, rehab, stretch, foam rolling, massage. You got to take care of yourself. That gets me into rest days. Look, I know the people that aren't big fitness people, they're like, how do you not like a rest day? But I know I could speak for most of the fitness people, fitness world. We hate rest days. You know, it's like you feel good when you move. You want to keep moving as many days as you can. However long you want I mean we're, we're nuts you know so I usually take off Sundays and I would say I take off Thursdays but uh, you know maybe I do a little cardio maybe 30 minutes or something light no big deal and that you know what you need rest your body needs to rest so I made it a mandatory mandatory two days off no ifs ends buts about it there's no mm, no no Maria mandatory two days off and one of my clients said to me the other day, who, who made this up? Why is this mandatory? And I said, I did. I have to do like a strict mandatory day off. I don't want to hear it. No excuses. So I don't get hurt and I have to rest. So, you know, if you're one of these people, this is for you. Slow it down. Um, and like I said, if you don't have any injuries, don't get one, you know? And, and overtraining and doing too much will get you hurt. You will have injuries. So I hope that helps, guys. Go out there, work out, feel good, but please rest and take care of yourself. All right? We'll see you next time. Ciao for now!